I'm Matt Jaquies with Victory First. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. Now we're going to head out to Shadow 6. Jim and Melissa Gilliland are going to run us through box drills for optics. Plenty of different optics out there. Find out how yours will work for you. Take it away, guys. Hey, folks. Jim and Melissa Gilliland from Shadow 6 here again. Now, no matter what scope you buy or how much you pay for it, you always have some variance in what it should do compared to what it is supposed to do. Now, with this, uh, you normally you get what you pay for, but machines are, are doing all the cutting work and everything else, so individual parts are different on each and every scope. You may get a new tool head or an older tool head, so you need to know what the difference in those two are. So, they may be different between the two identical scopes. Now one thing you can do to verify that your scope and rifle system works the way it is intended to and to ensure that you have set it up properly is to shoot a box drill. Now here's how we're going to set this drill up. Essentially we're going to take this target down to the 100 yard line and with our 100 yard dope we're going to take that one shot as precisely as possible as we can right on the corner of our box. From there whether you're shooting a mil or a minute, it doesn't matter. If you're shooting a mil scope, you'll dial one full mil up. And if you're shooting a minute of angle scope, then you're gonna dial three minutes of angle, all right? You'll start, you'll go up, fire one round, and then you'll go to the right or left, doesn't matter. You'll fire one more round the same distance, the three minute of angle or the one mil, and then you'll come down the same three minute of angle or one mil, and then you're gonna go back to your original 100 yard zero. Again, dialing three minute of angle or one mil. Now, if you've done it properly and your scope is tracking the way it should, it will place your round back right on top of your first 100 yard shot. Now, knowing you and your rifle setup, as long as it's in the cone of fire of what you expect your rifle to shoot, you know you've done this correctly. It does a few things for you, so now that you know how to shoot the drill, We've got Kurt and Ryan set up to shoot this drill for us, so let's go see what they've got. All right, guys, uh, we got you down on the, uh, the range now. This next drill we're going to shoot is going to be able to test you and your uh, system's ability to uh, move through a cycle with your scopes and see if you can come back on, uh, onto your zero to make sure you're mechanically tracking and we can test how much you're dialing on your scopes there. So, uh, Miss, why don't you go ahead and give them the, the drill? All right, shooters. This drill is going to be called the box drill. Your target's out at 100 yards. I need you to pick a point of aim. I need you to fire one round. Since you're both using mil adjustments, I want you to dial one mil to the right, one mil up, one mil to the left, and one mil down for a total of five rounds. Shooters, do you understand? Yes, understood. All right, shooters ready? Ready? Engage. As you can see, these two rifles with different shooters were similar with a few exceptions. Now if you do this with all your scopes, don't be surprised when one or all of them do not actually dial what you thought that they should. Now another great training effect of this drill is to get more familiar with your system and your rifle setup. Now after a while, you should know which way to turn your scope, uh, whether it be up or down or left or right, to make the rounds go where you want them to. Again, up or down or left or right without even looking or thinking. This will also get the jitters out of uh, some of the new shooters or some of the old shooters who, once they get that base solid hard zero for hunting, they forget about ever touching their dials again. Now, in the military world or the police world, this makes a big, big difference because if it's three o'clock in the morning, it's pouring down rain and you're tired, you never need to come off your rifle or look or have to wonder if you've gone the correct way. You go up there, you grab that dial on the side and you push your thumb or you pull it. So remember some of the antics, you know, whether, you know, left me, right away or whatever it is. And that'll keep you on your gun and into the fight. 
Now in the competition world, it's similar. You still have your stressors like time and points. I know that if I'm shooting at a moving target, for example, I know that if I move my dial one way, I know exactly where it's going to shoot. And then I'm comfortable moving it back because I do know my scope that well. Again, you've got to know what your equipment can't do before you know what it can really do for you. The more you know it, the better you are, and the more you'll be comfortable doing anything with it. So take these to the range, try them out, and make sure you become fluent with it. And until next time, hunt the wolf. Protect the flock. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment System, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Sword USA, US Optics, Mayflower Tactical, Arbros, Keltec, Dark Angel, Black Hills Ammunition, Yeti, Aimpoint, Wiley X, and Wilson Combat.